guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winter. Thank you for joining me for another Disney video. Since my trip to Disney World is about 18, 19 days out from when I'll be posting this video, I wanted to talk about the five things that I am looking forward to the most about this trip over other trips. I do go a lot, as you guys know, but you know, every trip is a bit different. I think it's really important to do that to make it interesting, of course. And there's a few things that I'm really excited for, just new things in the park and just new things that I am doing. And because I'm now in full, oh my God, I'm going back to Disney World mode, I figured it would be great to put together a little bit of a video for you guys. So the number one big thing that I've been thinking about, I'm eager to check out, see what they're gonna do, is the 30th anniversary of Hollywood Studios on May. First, I'm going to be in the studios for the day on the anniversary. I'm curious to see how they celebrate it, what they're gonna do. They've already started putting up decorations. You guys might have seen photos or video that have these things in them. And I'm really curious to see just the general vibe of the place on such a big anniversary. Granted, it's not like 50th or anything like that. It's also a park that right now is in flux. So I feel like it kind of doesn't get a lot of the attention that I think sometimes it deserves, especially while people are waiting for a Galaxy's Edge to open. But I feel like this is gonna be a good event to tide people over in the interim. I'm wondering if they'll do anything special in terms of Galaxy's Edge, not opening it early or anything, but I mean like, maybe something a little extra to tease what is gonna be happening in Galaxy's Edge um, during the 30th anniversary, so I guess we'll see. There's also gonna be a new nighttime show for the 30th. This nighttime show is gonna be called The Wonderful World of Animation. I know there will be a lot of projections. It seems like it's going to star Mickey Mouse as well as many other beloved animated characters. It's gonna go through 90 years of animation of Disney. It'll be curious to see if it kind of feels a little bit like the Once Upon a Time projection show in Magic Kingdom where it's gonna be mostly projection but maybe a couple of added fireworks towards the end, or if there's gonna be more fireworks to it. I don't really know, we still don't know a lot of details yet, but I'm really eager to check that out. I've never really been for a debut of a show or a fireworks show or anything like that for Disney, so that's a first for me, and I'm very excited to not only be there, but to capture it for you guys. And piggybacking off of that, I'm excited. My number two thing I'm excited for is my first Disney After Hours experience. I am going to the Disney After Hours for the 30th anniversary. It is set in stone. I have my ticket. Um, and I'm really, really excited to not only experience that for my first time and ride Slinky and Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster until I puke, but also to see the special meet and greets they're gonna have and the merchandise and the food and all of that cool stuff. I believe it runs from like nine to midnight after the nighttime show debuts. So I'm really pumped about that. Um, it's my first after hours ever and to have it coincide with something like a special occasion like this, I'm even more pumped for it. So if any of you guys are going to be there, please look for me, I will be there for the full event. My number three thing that I'm excited for, sounds a little weird because I guess it hasn't gotten a lot of hyper interest, but it's something new in Disney and I always love something new. And it's the Lightning McQueen Race Academy show, I guess it is what it is. Um, in Hollywood Studios. The reason I'm excited is, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Cars fan, I still don't even really know what the show is about. I haven't watched like a full video or anything like that, but I have seen some clips of the way Lightning McQueen looks and moves in the show, and that alone has me excited. I'm excited to see that in person and really get a feel for how they've kind of brought this animated character to life, which I feel like has very um, distinct characteristics and movements, and everything I've seen just from the few snippets were amazing. So I'm excited to see him come to life. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the show itself. I promise a full review and like thoughts about that um, for sure. But uh, you know, I always love something new at Disney. Like I'm always open to it. So I might walk out of that show and be like, yeah, that was really neat. I might walk out of it and think, eh, it was okay. But I always love do something new at Disney. To me, that's always exciting. Number four is a day of no parks, which is something I haven't done in a really long time, you guys. Like, it's especially hard to not have a park day when you normally have an annual pass and you want to make the most of your annual pass, so you feel a need to go to the parks every day. And I was definitely a person that even on my travel days, I would go to the parks, even if it meant, you know, getting in, taking a nap, and then just doing the evening. And so for the first time, I'm actually going to have a strictly no park day. 
That's because I didn't renew my annual pass and it still doesn't really make sense for me to have one this year. Um, so I'm okay with that. And instead I bought a four day non-park hopper. So that's really new for me too, not having a park hopper. I'm partly thinking I'm gonna cave and end up adding it on, but we'll see if I can hold out. Um, but I'm gonna be down there for five days. I'm actually flying down now on Sunday instead of Monday, so Sunday the 28th, and I plan to not do a park that day. So what I'm planning on doing is spending more time in the Boardwalk and at Disney Springs. I'm thinking maybe Boardwalk lunch, Disney Springs for the evening, um, just because there's a little bit more to do at Disney Springs in the evening. Um, and, you know, just trying to enjoy the day in a different sort of way. I'm flying in super early, so maybe I'll even get some pool time if I'm not exhausted. Um, and I'm kind of excited to force myself to really spend a full day doing the other thing. I do go to the boardwalk, I do go to Disney Springs, but I don't feel like I ever give myself a good amount of time to explore them. I'm usually there for an hour here, two hours there, so I'm excited to just slow down and enjoy that on my day that I fly in. And then, you know, the plus side is now I get a full day in Epcot the next day. And my last exciting thing is that I'm going to be meeting up with a few different other channels. I don't want to say exactly who yet, just in case plans fall through. So I don't want it to be like, hey, but you promised that you would have a video with X person in it. Um, because I know that it can be really tough for us to sometimes coordinate our schedules, but I do know a few people who are going to be there at the same time that I have just been friends with through this community for months, if not years now, and haven't had the chance to meet. So I'm actually really excited for that to be part of my trip. I'm trying to really take this time to meet up with those people and spend some time together because we interact so much online and on Twitter and on YouTube. And uh, you know, it's, it's funny how you form a friendship without ever really seeing each other face to face. Um, so I'm excited for that. So stay tuned, might see some cameos, might see some full uh, collabs happening. We haven't really figured it out yet, but stay tuned, hopefully it all works out and I'm just not talking out of my butt right now and everything falls through, but I'm excited for that. And also off of that piece, I'm excited to meet you guys. I always am. I feel like the best moments on my trips are when I get to talk to a lot of you guys. So as always, please, if you see me, stop me, say hello. Let's go on a ride together, you know? Like, I'm, I'm so down for that. So again, I will be there April 28th to May 2nd. Right now, my plans are Monday Epcot, Tuesday Magic Kingdom, Wednesday Hollywood Studios, and Thursday, Animal Kingdom until I have to leave and get going. So if you plan to be in any of those parks on any of those days, keep an eye out for me. So those are a few things that I'm looking forward to. There's plenty of other things that, you know, I love and do every time I'm down there, but these are specific to this trip um, that I'm looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to Flower and Garden, but I didn't actually include it because I've done it two times before. Um, but that's kind of my 5.5 right there. I am really excited for that festival. If you've got a Disney trip coming up, I'd like to know what are you excited to do on your trip coming up? When is it? When are you going? And what is something that maybe you haven't done before or haven't done in a while that you're excited for? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, then like it. If you like me, you should subscribe. I make videos every single week. Um, thank you for bearing with me with sometimes my wonky video schedule. Life has been crazy with house hunting and work and all of that. Um, but I still always try to find the time because I love doing this. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of the day. Bye.